the plan, that's what they call me I promise that you never be lonely Be the plan, that's what so I've just come back from the Electronium offices in Maidstone and it's lucky that I went when I did because as I walked into the building, Richard Ells was running down the staircase with a giant suitcase full of unmarked $10 bills. So uh, I made a citizen's arrest and uh, you can thank me for that later. Hello, my name's Rob. If you're watching this, you've probably invested in Electronium which is what I did. Now, a lot of people are saying it's a scam. Um, I don't think it's a scam. I've had some uh, very unpleasant things said to me on Twitter about whether or not it's a scam. Um, but I thought the best thing to do would be to get in my car and go down there and have a look. There you go, 30 Albion Place, Maidstone. Uh, doesn't look like it's too bad. It was an hour and a half calculated. So I, right, right, yes, now, here I am, I'm in the Electronium offices, nobody, nobody appears to be booking a flight to Bermuda. <laughs> I, I've looked at several people's search histories and, and none of them say BA discount tickets. So, yeah, look at them, scam artists, the lot of them. All of these people are wearing latex face masks. Deeply convincing. No, no, this is Richard Ells. Richard, have you and I ever met before? We have not. Uh, do I work for this company? You certainly do not. Has anybody in this room ever seen me before? No. <laughs> right. Richard, are everyone's coins safe? They are safe. They're locked in the blockchain. Perfectly safe. Our systems were not penetrated by anybody. I need to say that again. People, there were lots of people that had got access to the system, but not because they penetrated our security, it's because they had used hundreds of different uh, IP addresses and they'd logged in with people's accounts where they'd been stolen from other places where Adobe hack, LinkedIn hack, Dropbox, Yahoo hack, etc. Yeah. Dropbox, uh, 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 endless numbers. Tumblr, yeah, yeah. And they tried these passwords, they'd logged in. Luckily it came to light and so we, we locked everything down and said we've got to stop this. I know a lot of people have been screaming, shouting, hurling abuse saying open, just open, get the coins, stuff those people, let them lose their coins. That would be a disaster for the brand, be a disaster for us personally, we'd feel responsible when we knew that we could do something about it and lock it down tighter. So we've done loads and loads of work to lock it down tighter. Tons of work. I mean, we've been working, you only have to look at our feeds. We literally have been working. These guys over here in the corner, James and Adam, have pulled two nights where they've done 36 <laughs> hours, maybe even James and the, hours. James and Adam in the corner there, a little away from James and Adam. This, so they, this bloke was bald at the start of the week. That's how, like, <laughs> that's how, that's how hard, yeah. how long he's been in this office. Exactly, right. yes. Yeah. We worked our absolute butts off to change everything. And then um, we, we, we thought, you know what, we've got to take this beyond, beyond our scope to, to absolute enterprise level security experts, which is why we've engaged Hacker One, San Francisco based security company. Uh, and they're going. Can to you prove to me that you're working with Hacker One? I reckon we could probably take you next door and really, really embarrass Hazel. Whoa, let's do that. So I've just come back from the Electronium offices. I was there about 15 minutes. I spoke to a few people from the team. I spoke to Richard Ells and asked him straight to his face, are everybody's coins safe? And he said yes. And if he was lying, he's one of the best liars I've ever seen in my life. Crypto Rich uh, is going to do a proper in-depth thing and people are going to get to ask their questions. And so I just, um, by the time I got there, I didn't really need to be there. You're going to see much more in-depth stuff. Anyway, it's been a bit like a bloke who was trying to fix his own toilet and he goes, I can fix it, I can fix it, I can fix it. No, honestly, I can fix it. I'll fix it in a minute. It'll be fixed tonight. Oh God, now there's shit everywhere. I should have just called a plumber. Well, they've called the plumber. So um, it's gonna take a little while, but everybody's coins are safe. I have absolutely no worries about my money. So you can bang on about what a scam it is, but I think if you keep doing that, you're gonna look very foolish in a few weeks time. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee with my uh, 
my new mug. Yes, yes, yes. They've made a mug of you, Rob. I'll head that joke off before it happens. And uh, sit tight, keep your hair on, and uh, we can all uh, dance down the road to a Lamborghini dealership in a couple of years' time. Cheers. Oh, my God. That looks like papier-mâché. I've been scammed. <laughs>